making baked potatoes in the Instant Pot. This is my favorite way to make baked potatoes because you get consistent results every time. Um, and I like to crisp them up at the end with the air fryer. So you kind of get the steakhouse baked potato with the oily skin and the extra salt on the outside. It's super tasty. And it couldn't be easier. So easy. So you'll love it. So first off, we'll just put the trivet in the pot and put the water in. I often forget to put the water in if I don't do it right off the bat. Just, so just a cup of water. Yep. And then we've got our potatoes here. We've, um, there was recipes written for potatoes that are between six and eight ounces. These are these potatoes are between like eight and 10 ounces. They're, I don't know, they fit in the palm of your hand. You don't wanna make like the great big giant ones with this cook time. You'll have to increase your cook time. Um, we have stabbed them with a fork. Um, all of them except this one. And we're just gonna stagger them in the pot. Yep, I'm gonna put them in. So again, like this is just your basic potato. Then you just take your fork and you just wanna give it a couple good stabs. And that just helps sides. so that the steam can release from the potato. You don't get any big cracks in your potatoes and it doesn't have to be that, <laughs> that far. So just like you would in the oven and then just kind of put them all in. They don't have to be right on top of each other, just kind of go how they fit. That's all there is to it. Lock the lid in place. Make sure it's set to sealing, and then mm -hmm. set your cook time. Yep. Uh, for these potatoes, um, for between like six to eight, even up to maybe ten, you can get away with a twenty-minute cook time. If you're going to make the big steakhouse potatoes, you're going to want to increase. I usually do about two uh, minutes um, for extra for extra per per, pound. Yeah, per per ounce. No, per, per ounce. Per, per yeah. <laughs> so um, we'll let that cook and. Um, Come 20 back. minutes and then a 10 minute natural pressure release. That's right. Okay, our potatoes have cooked for 20 minutes and we had a 10 minute natural release. We're just gonna check, check them with the instant read thermometer. Yeah, 204, it's close enough. It's 205 is the target temperature for um, baked potatoes. And I really like to test them because it's the worst when you get one and you bite into it and it's hard on the inside. So it's just worth it to take right. the extra minute. And, and if you have one that's a little bigger than the other, check it. Yeah, so when you're doing um, potatoes in the Instant Pot, it doesn't matter whether you're doing two potatoes or eight potatoes, the cook time stays the same as long as the potato size is about the same. So, And these potatoes we want to finish off with the air fryer. Okay. It just crisps up the skin and gives it that little steakhouse effect. Mm -hmm, it's awesome. So. Um, we've got our Instant Pot air fryer lid and we're just gonna put it on top of this. If you have more of like a toaster oven style air fryer, you can finish it off this way, but we just, I like to only get one pot dirty, yeah, so, so we're gonna. We'll take the rack out and then dump out that water. And wipe the pot out and then put everything back in. Okay, so we just wanna coat these with oil. I use the sprayer. You could just drizzle lose on a little and lose your, your hand. Too. And then for the kosher salt, it's as much or as little as you want. I like the coarse kosher salt because you can kind of I don't know, it's bigger salt chunks. I am not a very skilled pourer. If you are, you can easily just sprinkle it on top, but I put it in my hand so that I don't over salt my potatoes. Although I'm not sure that's a thing. Can you have too much salt on your potatoes? I don't know, and if they spill onto the tray, you can just roll them, roll them around. Yeah. I'm gonna get more. Get as much as you want. I usually do the tops and the bottoms because I like a lot of salt on my potatoes. So we put the trivet in. Okay, now we're just gonna gently put our potatoes. They're still super hot, so I've got my mini mitts. Because the potatoes are so big, I don't like to use the um, accessory that comes with the Instant Pot air fryer lid. The, the basket? The basket, that's the fancy word for it, yeah, the basket. You're just going for it, you're tough, Mom. Okay, I'll move this out of the way. And then the air fryer lid, you wanna make sure your Instant Pot's unplugged, which ours is. You just lift it up, this bottom twists off. And then you just sit it right in place on top of your Instant Pot. This is our the six quart Instant Pot air fryer lid. If you have a dual crisp or a pro crisp, there's a little like, I don't know, plug that your lid fits into. But this one's just the standalone air fryer lid. We're using it with our old school duo that's so old it still, so, it still has a manual button. Um, so then you would just set, there's this one there's not an exact science to it. it I would say between five and 10 minutes. It's just how crispy you like your potatoes and how, um, how, how they're kind of stacked in there. So sometimes I'll set it for five minutes and then I'll put the bottom ones on the top and the top on the bottom. You're not gonna get the same results as you would out of like an oven baked potato where the skin is like pulling away from the 
from the potato itself. You just want it to be crisp up enough to kind of dry it up, kind of like help the salt to kind of stick to it, help it help it be yummy and finished off. So I'm just gonna hit air fry and then set the temperature 400 is fine. You can set it for 500 if you want in time to 10 minutes, sure, why not? And then start. This is kind of loud, so we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so it's, it's done, we hit cancel. And we're gonna take this Instant Pot air fryer lid. One of the things we really love is that we, it comes with this base that it locks on, but it also doubles as a hot pad to put your hot air fryer lid on. So you just lift it straight up and put it right on there. Just let it balance. And we've got some nice baked potatoes. Look at this, check that out. It's got like that. The salt is sort of crusted onto it and it's got a crispier skin. It's not, it's not perfectly crispy like it would come out of the oven, but it's done in like an hour faster than it would be if you put these in your oven. So, I like it. So we'll get this. Should we cut into one? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Okay, so these have crisped up and now we're gonna go ahead and dress one. Yep, just should I cut it? Yeah. All right, so just straight on in, it just cuts nice and smooth and then Tough. Oh, there hey. you go. Go ahead and put it on our serving plate. <laughs> I'll move these out the way. And we're just going to put a little pat of butter on there. And let that get all nice and melty. I'm going to top it with some sour cream. You could use some um, bacon bits or Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. You're making loaded stuff. Loaded up however you I like. I would probably use all three pats of butter because that's my favorite way. <laughs> baked potatoes. There we go. And that's all there is to it. A perfect baked potato made in half the time. At least. In, in the Instant Pot. All right, thanks for watching our video. If you want more great uh, Instant Pot and Pressure Cooker recipes, visit us at PressureCookingToday.com. Um, if you make this in your pressure cooker, please give us a comment down below and be sure and like and subscribe. Thanks again.